Myself, uh, Dr. Rashmi Singh, I am posted as Assistant Professor in the Department of Dermatology in the Heritage Institute of Medical Sciences and uh, uh, today I am going to talk about, and I am practicing since uh, last three years uh, after uh, completing my post graduation and now I am uh, going to talk on the topic the resurgence and the resistance in tinea which, uh, which, is a big, which has become a big problem for the dermatologists and for the patients today and uh, the major reason for this uh, resistance is uh, use of the inadvertent use of the steroids both oral and topical especially the mixed creams which are available widely in the market and they are being prescribed by the uh, local doctors as well as the uh, those some of the uh, medical store people and uh, patients are using also on, on this year, cons consulting by consulting their friends and relatives on advice of the club his friends and relatives. The second thing which we should take in mind, keep in mind is uh, whenever we see, we are, as we are seeing the resistance cases more, uh, we should, uh, while prescribing the drugs, we should, we should also uh, keep in mind that the patient, uh, patient's compliance is there and the patient is not using uh, the PPI concurrently. And the third thing which, would, uh, which, which is uh, in fact the foremost important thing is counseling the patient regarding keeping uh, maintaining the hygiene measures like uh, keeping the clothes clean wearing cotton clothes more off so as to avoid the retention of the sweat which is a major region for uh, uh, the skin of the groin area pleural area from where it spreads to other parts of the body then trimming of nails and uh, ironing of clothes avoiding occlusive clothing or so dressings and uh, these things are the important ones and we should uh, also counsel the patients regarding not using the uh, certain uh, medicines which are available in the market uh, those topical uh, steroid creams they should uh, they should be asked for so we should give time to the patient while prescribing we as dermatologists we have to reserve and we should take the responsibility of counseling the patient we should not rely on our uh, assistants which are in our clinics best better we should personally those counsel those patients regarding these hygiene measures, not using steroids, uh, showing the compliance, and uh, not stopping the drug uh, before the this uh, before the clinical cure is attained. And uh, we should always call the patient for a frequent follow up, uh, especially if the patient is immunosuppressed. Not only this, we should also take care of prescribing uh, while prescribing the drugs to the diabetics and the hypertensives for those cardiac patients that those as these drugs also have the interactions. The most common drug which we are presently using is traconazole 100 mg twice daily, daily dose is the appropriate dose and up to a maximum of 6 weeks. If the patient does not respond in within 2 weeks of prescribing the drug then you should always think of resistance and cross check the brand as well as cross check the molecule we are using and the patient's compliance. And and the, as far as the topical antifungals are con, uh, pre prescribed, we are using Lariconazole and uh, this Ketoconazole, Cyclopenox, which are all very very uh, good drugs and uh, Clotrimazole also, which is an old but still uh, very uh, good drug for tea. And while prescribing to the pregnant and the lactating mothers, we should, patient, we should take special care of not prescribing the oral drugs to the other, we should prescribe the topical ones. Wherever required, you should go for the culture and sensitivity after uh, stopping the drug so that uh, if and especially in the cases where we are seeing that the patient is not responding, then only this is, uh, we should switch over to other drugs. Thank you very much.